Wow, what a show, dude, what a show. Oh, that's how you do a show right there. Oh, wow, that was so good. Wait, there's a movie? The Last Airbender, M. Night Shyamalan. Let's do this thing. Over the last month, my wife and I have been watching Avatar The Last Airbender. This is a series that I watched when I was younger, but I didn't remember necessarily all of it. And I gotta say, I really loved this show. The show has so much scope and depth. The characters are so dynamic. And the show is not just about Avatar or Aang, but it's also about the supporting characters around him and their struggles and their individual journeys to help him in his quest to take away the power from the Fire Nation and bring the world peace. And so really, this isn't even gonna be a comparison because we already know how this comparison is gonna play out, right? Anytime you try to make a movie out of an adapted work and an adapted work that is so beloved, people are going to be upset. And that happens all the time. Well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I watched, which is the abomination that is the Last Airbender, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. In this video, I'm going to discuss basically how M. Night Shyamalan destroyed the fandom of Avatar The Last Airbender and why live action series or live action films for this property might be a little bit cautious. Before I go and, and kind of rant about Avatar The Last Airbender, both the series and the movie, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think about this series and what do you think about the movie? Have you seen the movie? I suggest you don't see it because it is honestly one of the biggest piles of garbage I have ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of piles of garbage. Look, I watched Laquisha last year, okay? And at least Laquisha, well, I can't even say anything good about Laquisha. Laquisha is a really bad example, okay? Okay, I watched The Grudge this year. The Grudge is a movie that is so lazy, but at least it's something. At least they know how to pronounce characters' names right. The Last Airbender was such a misstep and a misfire because Avatar fans got what they wanted. They got a movie, a live action film, where we can finally see our favorite characters. You know, Aang, Sokka, Katara, Appa, Momo, Zuko, Iroh, and what did we end up getting? We got Ang, Iro, and Soka. That's what we got. I didn't mispronounce these names. This is how they were used in the film. This film is an absolute slap across the face to every fan of the series. M. Night Shyamalan had no business directing this movie. This movie had no business being made. This was at a time when Paramount and Nickelodeon were trying to make as much money as they possibly could and they saw a possible franchise with something that is so beloved and has such a big following around it like Avatar The Last Airbender, which for the last couple of weeks since it's been on Netflix, it's been in the top five of trending programs on Netflix and it has so many people streaming it. I mean, this show is at a renaissance right now for people who had never gotten the experience as a kid of watching the show. Cause I remember the show being on Nickelodeon and I remember it was really good, but I, I remember one episode in particular. There's, there's one episode that it felt like it was always on TV and it was from season one. Comes across his old friend, Boomy, King Boomy. That episode played a lot. I don't know if it was just where I was. I, I don't really know why, but I used to love this show when I was a kid. This is my wife's favorite show, hands down. And this movie is the biggest mockery the biggest mockery to all fans of Avatar The Last Airbender. And you can even tell that this is a mockery because the movie's called The Last Airbender. You can obviously tell that M. Night Shyamalan and the people who wrote and produced this film had no idea what they were doing. Because essentially you're like, oh yeah, let's just make it The Last Airbender. Let's separate ourselves from the series. Either because it sucks and you know it sucks and you're just trying to capitalize on the on the the fans that are already existent within the franchise, or you just thought that the entire movie or the entire series should revolve around Aang. They were gonna make three of these things, okay? 
three of these things. And the funniest thing about the movie that I find absolutely hilarious is that it takes characters 17 to 18 different breakdancing moves to finally let off the element that they are bending. It is the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. It's pitiful. And then when they do let off the element, say it's fire, it's like barely any fire and it's slow. It is the slowest fire in the world. You have like minutes to run away and get out of the situation. You don't even have to bend anything in order to you know, break this fire down. You can run away from this fire. It is so laughable. It is pitiful. and the CGI is garbage. Appa looks horrible in this film. There's no character development at all. None of the characters have anything interesting about them. None of them do. The movie is like 90 minutes of season one of Avatar, The Last Airbender. This is basically what I feel like the producers said to the fans. This is, this is my interpretation uh, of the way that they treated the fans. Hiya, kid. Do you like Avatar, The Last Airbender? Yes. Yes, I do. How would you like if we made a live action movie of Avatar The Last Airbender? And we called it The Last Airbender. I would like that. That would be awesome. And then how would you like it if we decided that we were gonna take all of the best moments from season one. It's gonna be a trilogy of films, so there's gonna be three. The first book is gonna be water. And we're gonna take all the best moments from the actual show and distort them down for a film Give the characters no character development or depth. The action is going to be pitiful. It, they're going to be just dancing. Uh, okay. And then we're going to have the correct historical pronunciations of their names. What? Yeah, that's right. You know how in the show his name is Aang, right? Yeah. Well, in this movie, it's not going to be Aang, baby. It's going to be Ong. And Iroh is going to be Iro. And Sokka... Is gonna be Soka. Oh, and we're gonna have an entire cast where the Fire Nation is the most pitiful human beings, except for Zuko. Zuko's pretty cool because he's Dev Patel, and you know everyone likes Dev Patel. Uh -huh. You know that 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 guy from Lion and Skins and things like that. You know, you ever watch that? Okay. Yeah, the Slumdog Millionaire kid. Yeah, he's gonna be our Zuko, and his dad's gonna be the Fire Lord, and the Fire Lord is gonna be the most non-intimidating person that you could ever imagine. The dude from Hobbs and Shaw and Dr. Sleep. I don't want that. I don't like that at all. Well, too bad. Give me money, kid. Give me money. Do you see how terrible this is? I'm not even exaggerating. This is probably one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of bad movies. But at least some bad movies have entertaining value. And you can find humor out of them. This movie is the biggest pile of garbage that I've ever seen in my life. This absolutely debtors everything. The integrity that the series had brought on itself, it basically takes that and makes everything a joke. And they try to squeeze everything from season one, all of the important elements of season one, down to 90 minutes. So the pacing's all over the place. You have no idea what's happening. And then what they have to do is they have to tell the audience what's going on. So they just exposition dump everything. And you have Katara, Played by Nicola Peltz, who, by the way, I've had a huge crush on Nicola Peltz since I've watched Bates Motel. Yeah, she is so dry. It's like she's reading off of a cue card when she's narrating. That's literally what it feels like. I have some reactions to me watching the film and also the series. I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to show you my reaction to the ending of Avatar The Last Airbender, the show. And you can compare it to my reactions in real time of the last airbender film. I love Uncle Iroh. Oh, you so easily. I thought you would be furious with me. I, I have goosebumps. I angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. But you found it. Chills, I'm chills. Oh, what a, wow. Awesome reunion. 
I know, bro. You. Oh man. What are you waiting for? Do it. Mm. Look who's here, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. But you're not gonna become fireworks. Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> You're hilarious. Let's get her, Zuko. And you going down. Yeah! Oh! Wait. Oh, I hate him. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, no. What? So done. Come on out, little boy. You're about to make it. <laughs> You're screwed. You can't use it to hook or threaten. <laughs> Do one ending. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a show. Where is the character development? Where is the camaraderie? What the fetch was that? That was like the most delayed attack I've ever seen for firebending. They were looking for souls, the same markings the boy had. They dragged mom away the same way when they were babies. She wouldn't have stood and watched us being taken away. She would have fought. These what is this crap? Responsibility. We should fight. Would you mind if I put a few things in front of you? Who's this dude? We'll only take a moment. This is not Uncle Iroh. That's all you want. He doesn't even look I like him, but... What? Iro? Dude, screw you, M. Night Shyamalan. Screw you. How, how could you do this? How, how, like, seriously, was this a joke to you? It takes 17 freaking moves for you to actually bend. Ha, 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 and then finally fire comes and it's barely anything. This is such a freaking joke, man. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Like, this really pisses me off. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh, this pisses me off more than anything. Wow, so stupid. Oh yeah, let's... Little puff of wind. So there, that's all I wanted to say. I want to say my piece because this is the biggest disgrace I have seen to a franchise and something so beloved for audiences everywhere I think I've ever experienced. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of interesting Star Wars movies, The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, but at least... At least they understood the fans to some degree. Yes, we had Jar Jar Binks, but at least there were some cool redeeming things about those movies like Duel of the Fates and Phantom of the Menace. And Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, even though the romance didn't work and it was a little awkward, at least we got what we wanted in seeing Padme and Anakin falling in love with one another, even though it was pretty forced. But this has nothing redeeming about it. If you want to watch Avatar The Last Airbender, watch the show. Watch the show because this movie just to me just doesn't exist. I will never watch this movie again ever in my life. This is the biggest misfire and misstep I've ever seen. And the fact that they had planned to make two more of these garbage films is astonishing to me. I am so happy though that <laughs> they pulled the plug. They realized just how bad these movies were and that the fans weren't going to accept this crap. Because that's what it is. It is absolute crap. Anyway, guys, what did you think of Avatar The Last Airbender or even the film The Last Airbender? And were you able to get through it? <sighs> Let me know down below in the comments section of this video. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe.